Ooh, die. Eee! Oh, all right, all right. In all seriousness, welcome to my gaming interweb show, where we will be reviewing, comparing, contrasting the two new World War II games in production, Hell Let Loose and Postscriptum, two amazing games that depict World War II like we have never seen done before. Anyway, you see right now um, Hell Let Loose, me playing as the recon class. Hell let loose. We're going to go into this uh, past weekend's beta and uh, some of the things I'd like to talk about. Um, of course, everybody's talking about the sound design, which uh, definitely needs a lot of work. Um, so we'll just leave that alone and go on to other things. Personally, the, uh, for first off, I want to say I, I love it. I am even more um, excited about this than I was. Ooh, boom, headshot. Than I was before. Um, uh, the alpha was amazing, um, and we can see with this beta they've come a long, long way. And this hurt gen map is amazing, depicting uh, one of the battles I don't think we've ever seen in any game before. One of the great battles, a uh, very, very uh, peculiar, strange battle that took place. Uh, woods, you know, a lot of close quarters uh, combat that probably went down to hand to hand. Ugh, that scary. That, um, but anyway, um, one of the things that first off I want to touch on is the feel, the gunplay. Um, being a big fan of Squad and Postscriptum, of course, and games like Insurgency, the the gunplay is definitely comparably way way um, off, way lesser. Um, and I mean, this is something that's going to come with time as it develop the game, but, um, uh, yeah, it's, it's just, there's things that are missing. Like, like you didn't, you don't realize you'll miss until you miss them. Like, uh, leaning, I, you, I don't do it all the time, but when I don't have it, I want it also just little weird things that, that I'm sure they're going to, they're going to fix. Um, like when you're proning in your ADS. You're stuck. You can't move. You can't, which I think is a little strange. Um, just the, the overall feel, man. It, it, it's just something that's going to have to come with time. That's that's my big gripe. Also, um, the loadouts. Um, uh, I've seen Big Fry talking about this, and he's absolutely right. Like, as as a soldier, as you're... As you, in the, the battlefield, you feel like you are just not equipped. Like, uh, for instance, only the medics, I think, have smoke grenades, which is, which is understandable. You know, throw smoke at the guy up, yada, yada. But w when it comes to attacking, I feel like riflemen should have them. The support class should have them. Um, and, and hopefully they'll, they'll hear us and, and implement these things. I, I feel like being... Uh, we don't all need to be Rambo or Terminator. It's just uh, I would feel a little more. I would like to feel a little more capable as, as one man in this giant war. Um, definitely. Um, some other things. Let's say uh, the tanks. They were they were kind of. I just left them alone because I had one of the glitches where um, I couldn't switch between seats. I couldn't, like, once I got into a anti-tank gun, I couldn't get out of it. So I just played, personally, I played infantry. Ooh, boom, headshot. I played infantry um, my entire beta. I, I just left it alone, and, and hopefully next beta I'll be able to check out some of the, the vehicles and stuff. And that's what we need is really to get the feel of this map is, you know, half tracks and troop transports and stuff like that to, to be able to get around this giant map and... and you know, I, I feel like we're, we don't really, we're not getting but a fraction of what the gameplay of this map is going to be. But, um, yeah, once the vehicles are in there. Also, another thing that was bugged out, I noticed, was the um, uh, garrison, which is for squad and postscriptum players. The garrison is like a fob or hab. Um, I noticed I couldn't place them. Uh, I believe you got to have a support throw down a box, which gives you 50 material or so. And then you should be able to build a garrison. Well, once you held down the right mouse button, 
you could only place an outpost and it had a little menu to where you could scroll down to garrison but whenever i mouse wheeled to go down to garrison it just switched my weapon and i'm sure that's just a bug but um besides all these bugs aside and and all these uh little gripes aside the Black Matter has done a phenomenal job to be able to put fit a hundred players on this big map and it runs so smoothly. Besides the vehicles, I mean the infantry is flawless. The hit registry is perfect. The 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 uh, the networking is the network net code whatever you call it is perfect. It really is. I mean it's it's smooth, crisp, flawless as far as as far as infantry gameplay. Um, and if you're not excited for this one, I, I don't know, you something's wrong with you. I don't know, I guess I got a, a bias being a, a World War II buff, an old, an old war nerd. Um, I may have a bias, but, um, I, I'm... Yeah, it's such a beautiful game, I mean, like I said, the mud, everybody rants and raves about the mud. Um, just... The visuals are just spot on. I don't know about the the. I don't know how you guys feel about the little blood spray whenever you shoot somebody. It, it's a little. I don't know. It's a little much. Maybe they can tone it down a little bit. Maybe a little less. I don't know. It, it's it's like a, a cloud of blood explodes every time you shoot somebody with a bullet. But um, I'm loving absolutely loving the visuals. Uh, the lighting when a tank round goes by you. It kind of lights everything up around it. I would love to see that in, um, you know, Postscriptum Squad. I don't think it's quite like that in Postscriptum and Squad. But, um, well, here I am haunting the American position. <laughs> yes, uh. It. Also, who can tell me in the comments? I, the the engine this thing's built on, the graphics engine, the is... The I asked the, the developer, he said 4A. Like I've never heard of the 4A graphics engine. I believe it's, um... has to do with it's the hunter the or some kind of hunting mm -hmm. game where you hunt a uh, big wild game or something like that, I think it is. Built for 4A. If somebody could tell me in the comments sure what other games form. the that are built on the 4A engine, because I'm not familiar with the 4A engine. It's absolutely beautiful. I thought it was uh, Crytek for for uh, for the longest time. I thought this was built on the Crisis engine, with how beautiful it is, especially the interiors. Watch when I go in this building, if I go in this building. It's, um, the interiors are, are, are beautiful. Oh, I'm not going to go in. Like, the lighting... It's almost a, what would you what do they call that? Um, not ambient occlusion, but uh, where your eyes adjust. Oh, I can't remember now. But anyway, look at that lighting as as the tank rounds go off. It's absolutely gorgeous. These guys getting a little, a little tussle here. What is that? Panther versus back, Sherman? No, it's a tank fight. Who wins now? But man, the visuals are Andrew. spot on. I cannot complain about the visuals. So, in conclusion, what is... I guess our only gripes are, like everyone's saying, the sound design needs a lot of work. They need to just, uh, like Blue Drake was saying, outsource the, the sound design to a whole nother team. <laughs> I don't see, uh... I don't see Black Matter handling it themselves. Just outsource it, you know. Find somebody who, who, who does it well, and, and let them handle all the sound design. Cause it's just the kind of thing, you know. You make the sounds once, and you're done. You know, just contract that out to a sound team. Um, the gunplay, the feel of the guns. Um, we are all in agreement there, I think, with it being a little janky. Gotta get the feel right. Yeah, I'd love to be able to lean. That would be a beautiful thing. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, they're making a push on C. 
Uh, the, the, the rubber banding of the vehicles. You don't see it here because the, the vehicles are mainly standing still. But uh, when the vehicles are moving um, from the third person animation or looking at them from the outside, they, they will rubber band back and forth uh, as they're moving, almost like lag or something like that. But it's not network lag, it's some kind of bug. But um, besides that, those three things, man, that's absolutely phenomenal beta. Cannot wait to see where this thing goes or when the next beta test will be. Um, I'd love to see uh, vehicles so we can move around, uh, actually be able to place a garrison where the whole team can spawn. But <laughs> anyway, I guess that's my review for Hell Let Loose. Um, uh, we're going to touch on uh, Postscriptum a bit. I'm going to show you a little bit of Postscriptum gameplay and my impressions so far. But um, before we go over to Postscriptum, I uh, had a long, entertaining life that I will leave you guys to uh, with no commentary. I'm just going to let you... Um, Watch the the long the hell let loose the longest life, if you will, and if not, just uh, fast Boys, forward so sally, sally until you see postscriptum gameplay. And you'll you'll know the difference. It'll be a different graphics engine, and I'll see you there. Heading north. Oh, thank you, brother. Start over from the start, fags. Fags. Jacob's barn. Oh, whoa, I jerked just in time. That would have been bad. Whoa, friendly, dude. Friendly, bro. Friendly, you're shooting at a friendly.
We gotta kill that thing. <laughs> nice, evil, nice. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I'm out of round. Oh, damn, find a, um... You need a darn, uh... Um, can, can you... Rifleman that drops a, a case. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. Oh, he's angry. He's angry. Let's see. Hey, if we get on Jacob's barn, we should be able to capture it. Everybody come get on Jacob's barn, strong point. Yep, yep. Fizz and like the pets, the cow ruler. Yeah, ha. He's like, who is that? Great job. Alright, I say we push on to the next point as soon as we get this. Yeah, agreed. We should just steamroll them, steamroll them, steamroll them all the way to Scar.
go. Postscriptum. What can I possibly say about Postscriptum that hasn't already been said about Buck Nasty's mama? Bombed out and depleted. No, I kid, I kid. This has got to be the greatest thing since fucking sliced bread. I mean, Postscriptum, it's like, it reminds me of when I played Counter-Strike competitively when I was like 16 years old. When it first came out, I, I played Counter-Strike when it was just a beta and, and there was literally no recoil in the game yet. It was super early. But anyway, I started playing it competitively as the years went on. Good shit, and got him again. It got to the point Still where it was it. like a chore. And when I really wanted to have fun, I played the World War II Ooh, version of Counter-Strike called it. Day of Defeat. Also a mod for Half-Life. But hits. anyway, saying all that to say, this is what that is to squad. Squad is is definitely has way more of a complex meta, but but Postscriptum is just pure intense mayhem, and I am loving it. I have nothing bad to say about it. But anyway, like the sound design, absolutely phenomenal. Graphics great. People say that the the, the feel is a little loose. I can understand where it's coming from. That. But um, yeah, I'm loving it. There's there's nothing wrong. Ever since the new update. With the the new no, map yeah, Bell Molin, absolutely superb. This map has got to be the best map uh, I've ever played. Period in any game, and I hope they keep it up with their new map they're about to release. Vegas, that's coming soon. Anyway, saying all this to say, in conclusion, we have two awesome games, World War II games in production, and. Uh, if you're not supporting them both, I don't know what you're doing. Because these games are awesome. And we should both, we should all be ecstatic for both of them. And we should support both of them. Anyway. Also, uh, before I go, I'd like to, uh, I will be doing, I am working on a cinematic for the group Easy. I'm going to make an awesome, awesome cinematic. This is kind of like a rough draft that we're seeing now. Uh, a little bit of, uh, um, called drone footage but um uh i'm gonna be working on i'm working on presently an awesome cinematic but anyway uh head over to i left a leave a, a link in the description if you're interested in playing um one life events and uh getting into postscriptum into the nitty gritty of the easy company slide over there give them boys a holla and uh, uh game it up one. anyway god bless everybody have a good one